Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, and this is Virgo energy, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, so this is an energy of somebody who is isolating, somebody who is really withdrawing from love, from the situation. I'm seeing someone who really is, um, it's almost like they've gone ghost. Uh, this person is really taking time out for themselves. I don't see this person entertaining other parties. They're very much focused on self and um, reflecting on themselves and trying to grow. Um, this person is definitely needing some um, time away, time alone. And um, I do see um, this person also healing from something. Okay, so this person may have withdrawn from um, the situation, um, but I do see that th this is somebody who is doing this to heal something. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer. Okay, so the first card we have is the King of Swords, and this is Air Energy. Next, we have the Two of Swords, Air Energy again. And finally, we have the Queen of Swords, Air Energy again, okay? So we have a lot of Air Energy, and we do have um, counterparts here. We have the King and the Queen of Swords, but they are both facing away from each other. Um, and with the Two of Swords in the middle, I do see this as, again, people who are very guarded, people who feel like they need to protect themselves, people who are a bit fearful as well with the Two of Swords. Um, there is the sense of withdrawing from each other, not really entertaining each other right now. There is a coldness here. Um, um, but definitely, these are counterparts who are, um, I'm seeing, just not facing each other right now. There may have been some sort of fallouts or some sort of misunderstanding, disagreement with that Two of Swords that really caused both parties to uh, put their guard up. And um, I do see a sense of being at a crossroads here. Decisions are needing to be made. And um, I do see actually both parties maybe withdrawing from each other. With that Hermit energy, it's like both are taking time out to really reflect and assess. Um, the King and the Queen of Swords are both very wise smart people and um, I do see them as mature people so even if they are um, you know taking a break from each other or separating from each other um, they are using this time wisely the time to reflect and to look at um, how they played a role in the situation what they could do better there is this sense of them not wasting this time spent apart okay so there is definitely a stagnant energy with the two of swords this is a stalemate this is no forward movement nothing is happening right now but there is a lot of thinking going on because we do have a lot of swords energy and we also have the hermit which speaks of introspection so let's clarify these cards cancer Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermits in the reverse this time. Okay, so again, we have Virgo energy, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, so this is definitely an energy pointing towards an ending of uh, separation, an ending of aloneness. Um, there is a sense that this... Um, the solitude, this time away, spending time alone, this is temporary because with the Hermit, I do see uh, one or both parties coming out of this, um, one or both parties not wanting to be alone, um, wanting to overcome this loneliness because with the Hermit, even if you are growing and you are learning and you're spending time alone, it can be a bit lonely and with the Hermit in the reverse, this is definitely somebody wanting to move away from that uh, loneliness. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Cancer. Okay, so the first card we have is the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy. Next, you have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. So you could be dealing with another Cancer. And finally, we have the Empress. 
Venus energy, okay? So Libra, Taurus energy. Okay, so there is some warmth here, okay? With the Ace of Cups, there is emotions here. Um, there is a sense that there will be forward movements this uh, this time away. Um, it's almost like absence makes the heart grow fonder in the situation. I do see people coming back together. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, somebody here is extending an offer, a romantic offer, an offer of love, or, or an offer of... Um, emotional expression um, after a period of a lot of coldness very icy energy at the top there um, this is temporary because we do have the hermit in the reverse and this is coming out of that state um, this person i do see them you know making their emotions known this is somebody who has taken time out to reflect to assess and to look within so that they have a, a solid understanding of their emotions and as a result they can extend um, an emotional offer from a place of deeper knowing so this is a very wise person this is somebody who wants to figure out their emotions first before offering anything and i do see them arriving at this um understanding and then making this offer uh with the chariot there i do see somebody who wants forward movement somebody who wants success a victory somebody who wants to gain balance in this connection again so i do see um this is this stalemate the stagnant energy is definitely going to end um and it's it things are going to move forward rather quickly once this um once this person comes out of this hermit mode and um i do see them um you know, almost instantly making this romantic offer. This is someone who took time to sort out their feelings. And they do admire you. I do see somebody who sees you as abundant, sees you as very successful, sees you as somebody who is an ideal partner, somebody who, um, because we do have the king and the queen of swords, I do see them viewing you as their equal, uh, viewing you as their counterpart, and um, wanting to nurture the connection with you, and um, wanting to really show you that they do value you. Um, so I do see time spent upon Parts before coming back together and um, a lot of maturing here okay so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you cancer okay so the card says Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Okay, so definitely this um, this hermit energy, this hermit mode is necessary. A lot of answers are coming to you guys. Um, it's like a lot of truth is being revealed and um, I'm seeing both people getting a firmer grasp of their emotions and what they want from this connection. And um, this person in particular is making this known. They're using this information um, so that they can actually move forward and express some sort of emotional offer. Um, so this hermit mode is coming to an end. There is a conclusion to it. It's not, um, you know, indefinite. So I do see um, this energy as somebody who is coming to the conclusion about their truth. And um, as a result, they are extending an emotional offer. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Cancer. Okay, so the card says religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path okay so i do see with this energy somebody who is learning to um mix their spirituality with their more logical side because we do have the the swords energy which is a lot about mental energy thinking and then with the hermit we do see introspection and reflection and even spirituality so this is definitely somebody who is incorporating both and it is allowing them to come out of this two of swords energy because the two of swords is an energy of thinking so much to the point that you become stuck so this there's this need to really incorporate spirituality and doing this is really helping this person to move forward okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you cancer So the card says, strength of character and moral integrity. 
Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Okay, so definitely this person is doing all of the steps. I do see them, you know, going through that um, self-reflection, ease and quiet, that, that, that necessary um, time spent on, you know, alone and reflecting and even utilizing new concepts like spirituality um, and also from there taking action because there's the sense that, um, you know, they can't spend time in that hermit mode forever and this person realizes that so i do see them figuring out their emotions figuring out their truth before coming forward and taking this action um they do want success with you they want a victory with you and they do have a lot of emotions for you this person definitely does recognize that you are their partner you're their divine counterpart um that you guys actually are very compatible and can make a very great union so i do see this person extending an offer here um a very emotional um open honest with the um the king of swords above the ace of um, cups this does speak of someone who is blunt and direct and open and honest with their communication and because we do have that ace of cups under it i do see them being um direct and honest about their emotions once they figured them out so the hermit energy is really necessary for them to figure this out okay so that's what i'm seeing for you cancer i hope you have a really really good day cancer bye cancer